What is up guys welcome back to GWT Goons Today we got something about the main storyline uh, We got a few, in my mind I got a few mission that we could do um, One of the thing I think is we could get uh, a permission of the electrical chair Why can't you even? Yep. Yeah, Chief, I'm representing the inventor of the now. humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he uh, wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, uh, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. What's that to do with me? Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, I'm not going to pay you a hundred. Condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for fifty. I I don't. What what does that have to do with me? I would just let messenger. Um. Okay, pay me. I got quite a lot of money at this point. Sure. Okay, well, price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatch. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. So that is done. For now. Just need to go back to the professor, but we can come back to it. We don't need to go. We don't need to do that. So and then opposite we got this another main mission. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, do I know you? Probably Mr. not. I believe we've met. We have. At that guest mm -hmm. that party. Oh. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? What happened to the light? The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. What happened? Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rainsfall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Joe, mm. we saw you in the Why? wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. Why is it all of a sudden? Party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore, we fought hard. Well, We've the music was a sudden change. And those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming mm. huge reserves of oil under their land. That bastard so. again, huh? You want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How handsome. How yeah. I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> Excuse me. There's a on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. 
Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The Counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to meet him some other time. Been a while, girl. It's been months. So we are back to we are helping those American India to fight their land. So mushroom. What are we going to do? Kane. Are we go. Of course, I can. Of course, Kane. I'm the male, my word. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. So at this point going going pretty good so far, high under the wagon. It's like a snake. Snake. We can there. Uh. That you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. I'm supposed to meet mm -hmm. the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Okay, we are We know it's not that simple.
Red door. No, oh, back here. I need to find a way to go upstairs. Don't you say it. We got the files. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury. You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. All's fine. Now stay quiet. My head office will send me back to get you. Let's go, let's go, we got the document. 
to go. Always oh, using bow. Got it. That explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, mm -hmm. don't worry, he was very obliged. Yeah. I thought you wasn't getting involved. I thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. <laughs> you my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. We're doing good then. Save some money. I mean, obviously I know that I did pretty bad because obviously it's supposed to be without it's a silent thing. But uh oh well. So I'm good. It let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not relying on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but for me to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, America! What do you think about these sales? It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. They're tricky, little fellas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. But you... <laughs> as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. Nice. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you, <laughs> Mr. Marcel. Can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. <laughs> Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my European course. <laughs> We got this question. Question mark. Wonder what this is. <laughs> you Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Uh, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we sell the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. 
thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of... European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. Mm. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, Bobby. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> this is some sort of like a... tongue American betrayed. Like a pay the money to spit yes. personality shit. shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, big nuts. It is demonstration big of nuts. my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, okay. it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> waves you cannot see. Still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, ladies. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple of ladies. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. history. A demonstration yeah. of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But maybe okay. I can make you That's a nice way to get into <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. Uh. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Hmm. How do I move? Okay! If this okay. silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Okay. Hey. It's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Okay. Sounds like a fun. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pony system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. Yeah, but Transmigration of the soul. I, I still don't understand how that link to you. Like well, I'm not sure about that. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. Yeah, but what does that do with like immortal and that kind of thing? It's more like a Missed that. Carefully. If you hit another mine, the boat is kaput. Understand? Yeah, what is this exactly? 
any fool can explore the sitting duck. Be mine now, look! <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now no. the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of the pond. Still so what? avoiding magnetic mines. You want me to? Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison. <laughs> I just want to see what happened. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But for me to fund? What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even Dimwit here. Hey, you really all work on your salesmanship. Ah, America! What do you think about his sales? It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. They're tricky, little fellas. The gurus the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you... <laughs> as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. Nice. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. <laughs> Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Okay. Um, I hope you will forgive my European course. We are a mannerless people, but we work hard. <laughs> now. Military no, it is for humanity itself. Uh, you see, uh, you see, I have now illustrated just a small sliver of the miracles I can enact on this earth. If you will help me and not stab me in the ass like the other Americans. Even slight no. Arthur, Arthur, up here. You oh. came. Yeah. Mary. You came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. There's something about her. Quickly. Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. 
Whenever you call Another for me, I'll come. Oh, that's, oh, Arthur. That's romantic. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and no. wanting better for her than oh than me. Yeah. Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code, but your code is well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Well, Please. I'm kind, otherwise I won't be here. Am Sorry. I? I am... I should have asked someone else. But but I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Well, I kind of have to, isn't it? Come along, Dan. Where no. are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm's beneath you. He's been gambling, and drinking, and other things. Yeah, anymore. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He <laughs> suffers enough. Well, I suppose oh, sure. I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you it's too late now. No, I didn't. But... Well, I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... Sure. It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. The place with the horse. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's what in. What are you... Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What? So what? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? Said, just get out of here. Will you listen, partner? I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you and make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, my wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. I don't know how Damn they still nuisance. got money. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. 
Okay. This way. Yeah, no, I see him. He went around the corner. Yeah, I, I, I saw what happened. Can't clean up. Don't touch me now. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What is he doing now? So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's family brooch. Please. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, oh speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy! How could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. So now we nuke it. Punch. That's such hey, a fun. You Ashton, hold it right there. Oh. God damn it. I don't want to take this horse though. My horse is better. That's why I switch. God damn it. I don't want to kill them. You stop right now. I 
I need to jump. Get out of there. You can't do this. Can do what? Okay. Get out of there. Now get out of here. Listen. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? So what? A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, Come again? I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Fifty. I good what enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. What do you think I am? Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Final offer. So what? Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's Let's gonna pay for this. Let's see. for my money who do you think I am huh some local town fella you play with come on man where's your father I don't know you want me to go find him again not really let's take a walk I'll take you to the trolley thank you your brooch back I won't ask probably best not mm -hmm. hey what are you doing now right this moment why yes <laughs> well I was wondering if you wanted to do something oh wait do Head something to the theater perhaps oh okay is a date theater? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't oh. stop. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'll be a friend. friend but... Oh, just a friend well, ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a oh. gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. <laughs> How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Mm. Oh, 
pain. And thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not? Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare. I could just say, come on! Your curiosity. Fire. Let's try it. Fire. <laughs> I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you yep, through the yep. winter better than any pack of barter. Or yep, yep. Full of canned goods. Oh, come on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, come on. please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage miss robin kaninsky do make a move i can make a move please let me see what happens first can i oh i can make a move please i, I think it's too soon at this point i want like when this pl start playing Mm. Mm. Look. Oh, look, look, look. Hey, the classic scenes, the Wild West. Oh, it's like, what's going on? I can't make a move anymore. That was fun. Any more moves that I can pull? Oh, flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire. Or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. Yeah. Stop it. I still can't do anything. So. Careful. I can see that 
She's shaking her her hips. Hip. Oh, I still can't make a move. I was waiting for it. Shakira, Shakira. That's basically that slide. That's a. F <laughs> Shake it. That's a. An arrow. Before Shakira. Doop. You see that? Like the the job that like, doom. them to oh, enchanting mesmerizing Two she more. is truly one to bring home to mother it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance I have been <laughs> bring them on prepare for the body braziers of the petite flaneur in gay Paris okay Getting better. is truly incredulous oh inspiring yes, and I'm sure you enjoyed thank you <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence so thank you what a lovely evening come back tomorrow come back tomorrow
Mm-hmm. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh... Is it too late for us, Arthur? Ooh. Yes, yeah. I wanted, man, Mary, if I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I can't just leave my... F my, uh, my family. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Beautiful romantic story. Just like that. I didn't even uh, catch him. Take it. within one minute and forty-five seconds. I'm going to end this episode right here. So thank you very much, guys, for watching another episode of us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give us a subscribe, comment, or like if you have anything to say. And um, that's it for me. See you guys on the next one.